button on this, so all you all have to do is hold it. Okay. Um, we're going to get you up nice and close, but I am going to bring out that picture real quick just so you guys know what we're looking at. Mm. Now, the other this picture was, um, there was another picture of style re recreated, uh, I want to say it was like 2008, 2009, uh, but the picture was very wispy, like you can't really tell what's going on inside of it. This one, however, is very, very clear. Um, so this is the apparition that he caught. Full picture, apparition mm. right here. You're looking at a woman's back, praying over her oh, own grave, yeah. and then there's a baby basket right next to her. Oh. Now this might be another instance, because I couldn't find any death records for the child either, because again, stillborn, stillborn child, uh, where he might be buried with her. Hmm. So that could explain why the baby basket is actually next to her at the same time. Hmm. So again, if you actually, because I studied this shit, you could type in top 100 apparitions ever caught, and this is usually in that top 100 list. That's why all the ghost tours stop up there. It's their show and tell. My show and tell is obviously in your hands. Yeah. Um, so you guys get the gist. You guys showed up to use equipment. I'm going to let you use the damn equipment. Um, now, again, this isn't a story I always tell. I haven't told this story up until the past few weeks, like probably two years before that, <laughs> unless things were showing up from a spirit box that actually mentioned um, a few things that were relevant to that. So um, up to like the word baby was heard or uh, call 1-888. That's still the exact year of when she died. You know what I mean? So it was like we were getting her name showing up mm. and the initials and all of those things. So if we had two or three clues, I was, I, I'm almost forced to tell the story. Um, I don't always like to do it, especially when I got nothing but females in front of me, but you guys get the point. Um, so with the Aunt Bonnie bit being taken out, at least for now, um, and we're going to be able to walk up there. Uh, they're just tourists kind of looking around. Um, well, most people taking pictures. Yeah, most people know the story, so that's uh, why they're going up there. Mm. Um, they go up there to take a few pictures to see if they can recreate it. Now, hopefully, if we get anything, it'll be in motion. I'm not talking about a photograph that here. I'm talking so about footage. Cool. Yeah. Um, so obviously, the sign up there, I'll, sh I'll point that out, and then we will. Um, I'll just kind of give them their their quick moment. Um, but then I'll kind of show you where the grave is. And believe it or not, we were actually closer to it when we were back in the alley. Oh. Yeah, because it's on the back side. Oh. But you can't see anything because of the wall. Yeah. Um, so again, just bring you up and around here. And again, if I hate normally what I find, the reason why we're waiting is because if I go up there and I see like what we're doing, they usually ask me questions about the tour and I'm not about like overselling anything. Mm. So again, I don't want to take that away from you guys. We'll just kind of give them their moment. I get asked all the time about things. I'm like, like people stop my tour. Like, hey, what are you doing over here? Are you guys ghost hunting? I'm like, yeah. And I don't have like business cards. Like everything's digital. How's our word list coming? Address, open, reward, and wait. Mm -hmm. I like address only because Macy might be missing the actual address from Dr. Ladd. Remember, we're gonna get bleed over over here from Dr. Ladd as well. So. Even when I was doing my Aunt Bonnie bit over there, we were getting lead over from Dr. Ladd over there because again, it's still proximity. Mm. So, so is this what you two thought you signed up for, by the way? Yeah, good, a little bit, yeah. Good yeah. luck, good luck yeah. on future ghost tours. <laughs> You're not gonna be doing this. No. Even if it's my group of 10, it's still this personalized. Again, I have everybody's name memorized and I'm asking questions to every person. What have you seen? What are you hearing? What do you got? could be addressed too though, like to address oh, something. Address a letter. Right. Permanent. Leah, do you want to switch at some point? Yeah, a little My bit. My brain might turn into mush hearing all these words. <laughs> so the next two spaces after this are going to be completely different. Um, let me kind of explain that since they're taking their time. The next location we will be using that crazy voice recorder that I mentioned earlier. Um, so you guys can figure out who's going to be listening in on that. Um, we might actually go with mom on that one. Okay. Um, it's a murder mystery. <laughs> The murder mystery, I don't have all the answers. That's the fun part of it. Yeah. You guys will be coming up with the questions of what we should be asking. And it's okay mm -hmm. in that instance to ask yes, no questions because we are looking for disembodied voices. She's not going to hear radio chatter like what you have. She's literally going to be listening for background voices that aren't we can't hear. Um, the recording will be there for probably between 8 to 12 minutes depending on what's going on. Um, and then I will go through that entire recording from start to finish and fine tooth comb it to see if I can find anything. Um, and just, you'll get that back. To stop after that, um, we are going to be doing a mock Estes session. So let me explain what that is. Um, so whoever has the spirit box at that point in time between the two of you, you're just gonna, normally what I would do in a bigger group, like I usually require four or more to do this, but we're gonna do this a little bit differently because of the size of your group. Obviously you're gonna have the, the spirit box on, the, on your ears, just spouting off whatever you hear, like quickly. Doesn't matter what it is. Um, normally I would blindfold that person. 
and they would not know the history of the space. So tonight, we're just going to tell the story afterwards. The other person is going to be wearing a virtual reality headset, <laughs> and they're going to see images that are going to hopefully complement what's going to be the conversation that I have with the with the spirit box person. So they're not going to be able to hear me. Mm. So if it's you going to be in the virtual reality, you will, but you're still not going to know why you're seeing the images that you're hearing oh. or why I'm asking the questions that I'm asking. Macy, if she's on the spirit box, will not know what I'm asking, so she's literally should just spout off whatever she hears. Oh. After the session is over, I because we only do that for 10 minutes, I will literally give you the story and see if anything, to show you if anything actually stuck. Mm -hmm. Normally what I would do is I would take those two people, sit them on the bench, and take everybody else 15 feet away and tell them the story, and we come back and watch it unfold. So that way everybody around me knows like oh. why I'm asking the questions yeah. and why you said what you said. And it is a <gasps> kind of moment. Like, did they just really say that? It's huh. really cool stuff. Um, but yeah, the blindfold piece, like it can get a little weird when we're doing it in this smaller group. So I don't do the blindfold, but what's what I call a mock Estes session. And it's only called that because of the Stanley Hotel, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, it's in Estes, Colorado. And that's where this, it's uh, where the shining was basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I've been it took there. me a second to, yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, that's these sessions were first done there and the uh, virtual reality piece is actually meant to go with the person that's listening mm -hmm. but for muggles like yourself um, <laughs> that's a lot to handle like it's their sensory deprivation so I separated it so now mm -hmm. if I have my groups of 10 normally three parties make up a group of 10 depending on how it's laid out I actually can blindfold two people because I have another one of those sphere boxes and a third person from another party like so there's one person from everybody that takes a partake mm -hmm. um, so I kind of separate it works out really nice they're all gone. Let's go see if we can go find a ghost. <laughs> Sorry. Kind of. I was like, all right, we'll kill some time. <laughs> Tell you what the hell we're going to be doing next. All right. So a couple of things up here. <laughs> First off, we have, here is the sign. So you might want to get that footage right there because you can see it perfectly clear inside uh -huh. of your frame. Um, and then, do you guys see the light off to the left? I'm sure you can because yeah. it's super bright. Uh, the church put that there and pointing directly at us to try to cause light flares so nobody can recreate what happened of what I just told oh. you about. Now, her grave is actually off in the distance. Do you see where the cross headstone yeah. is back there? It is just to the left of that, one more row back. Mm. Um, and it's facing the opposite direction. So it's okay, to, like, if you want to put your arm, like, right up mm. in there, that's okay. <laughs> You're not hurting anything. But we'll kind of give this, like, a, a good two to four minutes to kind of see if she'll get anything out of it. Um, but again, we're on a date after the anniversary of this date. So hopefully we get something. I don't normally work on any holidays, so I had to take advantage of my June 15th tour to be able to come down here at a time of night where nobody else would be in my way and I can get some decent footage because I wasn't down here at all yesterday. The luxury of owning your own business is you take off whatever days you can. <laughs> yeah, that's great. No other words are showing up. Um, oh, now it just came up with meat. <laughs> Like M E A T or M E M E E T. Mateo. Spanish name. Clap. Bid. Yeah, hold on, enough. They're weird oh, terms. No, forward. They're weird terms for sure. But, again, they're specific. You know, clap is something specific. You know what right, I mean? But right. It's not vague stuff. By the way, your videos will go to YouTube, so you can watch them on your TV. Oh. Um, I actually watch them on a computer screen, so like the two cameras are pretty small. I don't always follow up with those in real time, like when I have my full group to 10. Uh, those two cameras, I just tell them right off the top, you're just a videographer. If you want to swap out with somebody else to try something else, by all means do so. But I don't always have a whole lot of conversation with the videographers, because I'm watching their shit later. <laughs> 1984. Damn close. The year was 87. Huh? Damn close. The close but no cigar. <laughs> Still writing it down. But yeah, imagine if you're standing down here at 3 o'clock, it's as quiet as this, and this is what you hear. Hey. <laughs> like, okay. I parked right up on the street over here. Yeah, I'm just going to turn around and go home. <laughs> I need some grave digger gatekeeper guy coming out yelling at me yeah right oh yeah and there was no breeze that night either huh. so it was kind of like a all right do i really want to go over there it's <laughs> hell out here it's 
it's fair to say if we're going to capture anything, we would have hopefully captured something. Right. I don't know if it was like, it's kind of hard to hear, but it's not, it felt like I heard something like spirit, but... You may have. Let's go ahead and get a stop on your video, which is right here.